Greetings colleagues. You probably know that Elon Musk bought Twitter for $44 billion. Many entrepreneurs use Twitter as a marketing tool, so we couldn't miss this event. The entire news background of technological news projects is dedicated to the upcoming changes in Twitter. Someone says that Twitter is expecting new conditions for content moderation, and this will make the social network less free. Someone says that Musk will unblock Trump's account and this will return freedom of speech to the expanses of the social network. Lots of talk about the new $8 blue check mark. All of these are debatable points. I made a video earlier about what you can learn from Musk and why I'm skeptical about him as a person. Although judging by the low interest in this video, we can conclude that few people now want to learn something from Musk. But now let's talk about something else. Today I will try to analyze some of the theses related to the buying of Twitter, how it will affect small businesses, what is the future of Twitter and what changes are expected in the business model. To begin with, Twitter is a social network that is significantly inferior in popularity to Facebook. The current information noise with a paid personality verification or freedom of speech stirs up interest in Twitter. Even on the Google Trends chart, there is an increasing interest in Twitter. Twitter has its vibe. Short posts are a Twitter feature that encourages creators to keep their thoughts short and readers to save time on short posts. It will be sad if Musk destroys this atmosphere, it will be a challenge for the community. Paid Blue Tick By itself, paid verification does not make sense, otherwise, Twitter will become a place for scams. Because dozens of the same Elon Musks, Bidens, or Trumps with this checkmark will appear, and they will be able to swindle money from gullible users. Such a paid verification makes sense if the checkmark will have different colors or visual designs. So that you can distinguish celebrities from ordinary people. But Twitter seems to have already started testing this functionality. It is also planned to attach fewer ads to it, the ability to upload longer videos, and increase the priority of the posts of such verified people. The priority of tweets from verified people is also a field for fraud. The functionality will not be preserved in this form. But the path to paid subscriptions has been chosen, and we will observe what functionality will be attached to them. Layoffs Musk fired several top managers of the company, and we are talking about the fact that 50% of Twitter employees may fall dismissal. Is it so? Salaries on Twitter for software engineers are higher than at Tesla and SpaceX, this looks like a logical step to reduce costs. But it is unlikely that this will be with 50% of employees. Perhaps there will be some reduction in some part of the staff, to reduce the expectations and appetites of employees' wages. But the company's latest financial report does not say that the company's financial model requires any significant reduction in part of the company's expenses. The question is not in the company's finances but in compliance with the level of salaries with other Musk companies. 4 million a day. Musk says the company spends $4 million a day and needs to cut that spending. Flipping through the company's financial statement for June 30, 2022, I didn't find that figure. And again, this is manipulation, because when he talks about expenses, he does not talk about income. Patents. Twitter has 1810 patents. This can improve the negotiating position in possible patent disputes not only of Twitter itself but also of other Musk companies. Maybe there is some kind of patent that Tesla and SpaceX need to own, and we don't know about it. Business Model Some talk that Twitter will be used as an analog of the Chinese WeChat, which will include many different microservices. I wouldn't be so sure. But I have almost no doubt that there will be an attempt to drive news publishers behind the paywall and make paid subscriptions for creators. The structure of the company's income is such that the company receives its main income from advertising. This structure requires diversification. Because even now some companies have announced a boycott of advertising on Twitter, in connection with public statements and plans of Musk. In the income structure, you can see the section with subscriptions. The only place I've come across subscriptions around Twitter right now is subscriptions to the improved API request rate. 
I have a small project experiment around stock trading, which makes requests to the API for stock tickers, so a direct request for a ticker is paid. Twitter is a platform that aggregates amateur and professional opinions in a single place as quickly as possible from the moment an event occurs. So, many who are engaged in stock trading have an interest in automating certain signals and filtering information noise. I haven't seen any other subscriptions on Twitter yet. There is also a others section in the income structure, what do you think this means? Write about it in the comments. Internal projects. You need to understand that Twitter has many purchases and investments in third-party companies. There is an active discussion that the Vine project will be returned, such an analog of TikTok or YouTube shorts. Before, this project passed me by completely. With the growing role of short videos in marketing, such project makes sense. And also, it makes sense for the small business that we are. Business will use such project for their marketing in the future. Besides to Vine, there are many other internal projects in the Twitter portfolio. The developments on which can be used by the new management of Twitter. About freedom of speech. The boundaries between freedom of speech and manipulation of false information are very blurred. For example, there is a big information war going on around the war in Ukraine. False information can lead people to illegal actions, as well as the fact that small lies can lead to the victory of global truth. There are no clear technical tools that would filter this or that lie. If due to information policy, outright liars prevail in a social network, this will lead to regulation. Or it will be constant litigation with various countries, legal entities, or contractors. For example, there was a message that a certain Scott Ritter was unbanned, who tells a pure lie that Ukrainians are killing themselves. But at the time of creating the video, I checked the account and it is suspended now. Thus, I would not make hasty conclusions, I think in general the moderation policy will not change, but we will be able to see this only after some time. Now everyone is waiting for what would happen next. Someone has already started looking for alternatives. Someone has even started promoting Blue Sky Social as a decentralized alternative to Twitter. Although, this project is part of Twitter itself. So, time will tell which social network we will need to migrate to. Like this video, if you want to see a video with Twitter alternatives. Peace.